Hello Collective and welcome to another Lunar Framework session. So today, um, actually I think it might, maybe it might have been yesterday, the moon shifted into the sign of Libra and we were formally seeing it in the sign of Virgo as a waxing crescent and it's still in that phase. It's still in that phase of growing and learning and becoming well, actually with, with Libra as its base energy, becoming something that is a bit more balanced. So in the framework reading for the Crescent, Moon, and Virgo, we were seeing what questions we were asking that essentially were the most important questions for our own self-growth in essence. Uh, well, actually, yeah, in our essence. Um, so, you know, there was kind of like a lot of question I could feel in the collective of feeling as if they've missed their chance in setting the intentions um, for that new moon in Leo. And it's very important to note that this, this lunar phase that we're going through is acting as a reminder that it's like manifestations are never they're never finished with, they're never over. They're in a constant uh, evolutionary process. And with that being said, it's like, you can keep adding to it. You can also take away certain things that you don't like. And you can, when you find a new perception or even a new perspective, because those two things are both very different, uh, that can you can use that information to inform your manifestation and I'm using manifestation as a broad term for the world that we the reality that we experience on a personal level because it's with the moon it's all an internal process so let's see what this crescent moon as it grows you know, there's always a little extra messages that, that come out with these. I love this. It's like, it's talking about seeking a higher perspective on, on what you're, this is interesting, on what you're investing in, on what you're envisioning for yourself. You see, it's like, you can, this is very interesting. You can hold two perspectives at the same time. And actually that holding that awareness is what's going to help inform you on which actions you need to take in the, your current manifestation, okay? So a couple little, <laughs> you might even find that the information could shock you. You know, it's interesting because he's at the top of the tower all right so let's see what is that crescent moon the energy of that crescent moon in libra what is it going to how is it going to help us moving forward along our path i'm starting get getting another like channeled message and is that sometimes our pathway we feel as though we're not making any progress. We're not moving forward. Okay, this is going back to the, those two cards, that two of wands and the seven of pentacles. And uh, what it's referring to is that sometimes the progress that we're making might not necessarily be in a forward motion, but it's actually in an ascending motion. So although you might not see that you're making progress, you are It's just in a different way. And that's the perception. It's the change of perception that will bring you into that awareness. That's gorgeous. All right, so let's see. <laughs> Crescent boom, what you got for us? At the bottom of the deck as the supportive energy that is being brought to us. Oh, okay. want to sit with this for a moment there's something important about that 
about sitting with this energy for a moment, not allowing it to overcome you or overtake you, but just residing in that feeling of being down in the dumps. This has a feeling of that it's like before you receive the information that you are actually making progress it's like this is where this is where we as a collective find ourselves in this five of cups it's not a very pleasant energy but what it's referring to is that sitting within this energy allows a space to open up so that we can actually make that shift the shift in our awareness because you know he, presently he's looking at well he's not really looking he's experienced all of these three of cups that have fallen and spilled out all of their contents but you know of course behind him are these two two other cups but it's important to note that this process of his sitting within this energy is very key and shifting your awareness okay so let's see how is this five of cups going to bridge us into where we will eventually find ourselves so on the split we have the scales Ooh, this is interesting the scales always comes through as a tool that a tool that you can use to create balance in your life, to create harmony, to create something that is, well, it's your tool. I always see this like chastity at the center of, it's like, like, like the character in this card, her heart is locked, but there is a tool that can be used to open that up. It's like this, there's a, there's a tool here. So I'm seeing these two cups here as each one as being one of these scales. So the tool that can be used here is actually in relationship with other people. You know, this is Libra energy. Um, it is it is our connection that we have with others that create that helps to establish and create harmony in our lives. It brings us out of this five of cups. It's it's kind of referring to like leaning on your friends use the tools that you have at your not at your disposal because that kind of makes it seem like your friends are just things that can be thrown away and that's not the truth what the truth is here is that they're there to assist you in this process of transmuting this the energy of maybe not maybe feeling like you're not getting anywhere it's like they're here to bring, you know, she kind of looks like the justice, which is a, another, which is another Libra card. They're here to bring the truth, the truth that perhaps maybe like your heart is a little locked down and how to open that up is leaning on your friends, leaning on those connections that that are full it's like they're full like full of love okay all right let's see the overall energy for this waxing crescent and libra and the energy that we're going to be walking in oh, everything just kind of everything just kind of fell apart that's interesting even though things feel like they might be falling apart, like there's a sense of progress not being made. It's like your friends are going to help show you that 
They're going to help shift your perspective. All right, so let's get that overall energy. Okay, our overall energy here is the Page of Wands. And this is coming through as you embarking on a new path, a new journey. So your, your friends have kind of helped to bring you out of the state. They've helped to shift your perspective. And now you're embarking on a new journey. And what I'm loving here is that you're, you see how these robes here are similar in color palette? It's like you're carrying with you the wisdom that you gained in this experience. It's like understanding that you, um, okay, this is very interesting. Almost, it's like understanding that you, that the, oh, hang on, I'm receiving a lot of information. Uh, that the, it's coming through as like you need, you, it's almost like required to have low points in order to bring yourself up to the high points, which was like that two of wands that we saw in the very beginning of this, of this read. What I'm noticing here though, is that in our hands, there's this, there's a space here. And what it's referring to is yes, you do need some low points in order to bring yourself up to the high points. It's kind of like there's a full range. You're, you are inevitably going to experience a full range of emotions, being it at the lowest and, of course, at the highest. But there's something here about you having the ability to be able to shift this space. I mean, what I'm seeing is like, you know, when, okay, you know, when kids, I don't know, maybe you know this, but like, they'll be picking who is, I don't know, the first, the first one to go. And what I'm seeing is like a bat and like all the kids putting their hands on top of each other. And then whoever ends up on the top is that that's the one that ends up going first. But what it's referring to is that when your hands are in a particular space essentially what it's talking about when you are holding a particular range of emotion that low and that high you actually have the ability to shift that so it's like just shift it up and then that new high is going to be your low and then this new high is going to be something that you've never you haven't yet experienced and that's what this crescent moon in Libra is going to bring you. It's a new experience of what harmony feels like. It's coming through as harmony and peace, compassion and love that you share with others in the relationships that you that you choose to be in communion with. All right, that was really beautiful. Okay, I will see you all in the next Lunar Framework. And you know, of course, don't forget the messages <laughs> that show us. All right, bye guys.